all right guys welcome back to the channel hope everyone's well back down barry now this morning i'm down on cold nap beach or the nap if you like pretty much bang on low water so uh, i'm gonna fish it all the way up to high and probably an hour or so into the ebb see how i get on 10.8 meters which in old money for barry is 14 meters because we add 3.2 a nice sized tide and also a rising tide one potential problem we have got a northeasterly wind and uh, in my opinion when it comes to the bristol channel a northeasterly or an easterly can often kill the fish in but uh, i remain optimistic and you never know today i'm fishing on the left hand side of the beach not far from that point and uh, the point is providing me with some nice shelter from that northeasterly and uh, at the moment it's not too bad at all hopefully it'll stay that way I'll be fishing with two rods, going to start off with a couple of 4 pulley panels but at some point I'll be taking one of those off and I'll be sticking on a flapper rig. I'll have a scratch around and just see what's out there. I've got sand eel, ragworm, bluey squid and a bit of mackerel. Guys, as always, I'll do my very best to get a fish on camera for you. Enjoy the video. There we are then, we're fishing. Both rigs, now in action. On the left hand rod, I've got a squid and sand eel wrap. And the right hand rod, that's a squid and bluey wrap. The tide is just starting to turn on its way back in now. Early days yet, plenty of time. It's a gray old day. Gray, overcast, a bit murky. And it's quite cold. That northeasterly is biting. So uh, it'll be nice to get a few bites. That usually warms me up. I don't mind blanking. I got no issue with blanking, but uh, it is nice to get a few bites. We'll see. Come on. Ah, it's quite sad. I just found this dead dogfish. It's actually stuck on someone's rig. But uh, what I'll do, I'll pop that line in the bin when I get home. I'll keep the lead weight for myself and uh, put that dogfish in the freezer. And next time I fish on the Esk, say next to the transporter bridge, I'll cut it up and use it as ground bait. It won't go to waste. It's quite fresh. So uh, I'm guessing it's from last night. Yeah, never nice to see that. But I guess sometimes it can be helped. You know, if you crack off, uh, it's inevitable that something like a dogfish will come along and take the bait. No bites as of yet. Been fishing for around half an hour. Quiet start. We're about an hour into the flood now. Still nothing. I'm watching those rod tips, but uh, they're not moving. It's like I said before, I love Barry and I love the Barry Marks. But uh, I must be honest, I'm not a massive fan of the nap. I prefer like uh, Nels Point, the White Light, Jackson's Bay. Over there, even if you blank, usually you get a few bites. Whereas uh, down here, over the years, I've had some absolute shockers. And I'm talking not even a bite in seven hours. But on this day, it can produce some nice fish. Reminds me of Gold Cliff at Newport. The one day, it can be fantastic. 
and the next you won't even get a bite there's no in between but I guess uh, it all adds to the mystery I've always said that uh, the nap is more of a night venue that's where I've had my good sessions down here in the past I mean nowadays it's noted for its ray fishing whereas when I was a kid in winter for example say between November and January it was known for its fantastic whiting and codlin fishing you could come down here 20 25 white in a session and they were all crackers some nice codlin too but yeah it's more about the rays but of course anything can turn up on this beach get some nice bass off here congas even get turbot every now and then plenty of dogfish You still get white in, poked in and called in, of course, but uh, not in the numbers that we used to get. I'm happy to catch anything. Anything will do. Whispered it quietly, but uh, the old sunshine is trying to come out. Earlier on, it was so dark. I was trying to get my footage, but uh, just too dark. But now, it's a lot brighter. Of course, I will be fishing in the dark later on. High water, it's around half past five. Almost onto the pebbles now. Not a touch, not a nibble. Hopefully, when that light drops, it'll pick up. That can often happen. It starts getting dark and uh, a few fish move in then. My confidence levels, they are dropping. But uh, I've been in this game long enough to know that anything can happen at any time. So I'll keep these fingers crossed. Hope everyone's doing okay during these tough times. Just want to say a big thank you, a thanks to all of my viewers, my subscribers, my channel members, it's very much appreciated. Hopefully plenty more videos to come. My aim is to do one a week, but uh, it's not always possible. Life gets in the way, work etc, but uh, I am trying guys, <laughs> honest. But yeah, one a week. In a second, I'm gonna stick a flapper rig on. Just to see if I can wrinkle something out. Gotta be one fish out there. The last video I made down here was over a year ago. And uh, I had a bite first cast. I did first off second cast, and that was it. And I think I fished for seven hours that day. But other times I've come down here and I've caught fish throughout the session, so you never quite know. Right, time for some food.
on the pebbles now. We're around three and a half hours off high water. Dead. Dead as a doornail, as Dad used to say. On the left hand rod, on the 4 0 pulley panel, I've just stuck on a big piece of bluey and uh, given that a good whack. The right hand rod, for now, I'm sticking with that flapper rig because uh, I just want to see if I can get something out. Anything. Whiting, pouting, doggy, small conger, bass, flatty. Shut up, guy. I think my only hope is going to be later on when that light drops. And I've been down here before at the nap, nothing for hours, and then all of a sudden, bang, 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 bang. So, yeah. That guy that was to my right, he's cleared off. He's got more sense. I'm the only fool on the beach. There's a bit of rip out there. I was using a 6 ounce gripper, but uh, I've changed both of those now to a 7 ounce gripper and they're holding bottom. But the 6s, they were moving a bit, ripping around. I got some lovely sand eels. When I was down in Brixham, I brought some back with me. Cracking sand eel. But even those are not working. Oh, uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's the blank out of the way. <laughs> Got a tiny pout in on the top hook of the flapper rig. Look at the size of that. It's a start. Let's pop him back in. Well, that fish may have been tiny, but uh, I feel a bit better now because if there's small ones out there, there should be some bigger ones too, because in theory, that's what the bigger ones will be feeding on. That water is pushing up lovely. Good depth out there. I think I'll have to move again soon. The weather is all over the shop. Once again, it's gone very dark. 10 minutes ago, it was like a summer's day. But uh, I suppose at this time of the year, got to expect it. Although, that northeasterly wind is trying to drop. Left hand rod's been going, but uh, I think it's something small. Let's take a look. Yeah, small white in there. Top hook of the flapper egg. He took a piece of ragworm. Only, uh, only a baba. Oh, it's better than nothing. Getting bites every cast now on the flapper rig. Hey, I'll take it. When the big baits are doing nothing. I always like to stick a flapper rig out there. It's a bit of fun. But uh, in amongst that small stuff, there's gotta be something decent. On the 4 pulley panel, I just stuck on a whole squid. But uh, when it gets dark, 
I'm going to put a big bait really close in just in case there's any bass patrolling. Yeah, there's no one here, no walkers, no fishermen. Feels a bit eerie. Right, we're losing the old light now. High water, it's in around an hour, hour and 20 minutes. So we'll see what happens. Quick update, I've had a few more small pout in on the flapper rig, but uh, tiny things. Even that's gone quiet now. As for the big baits, still nothing. I've just stuck on a bluey and squid cocktail, giving that a good whack. But yeah, getting dark now. That can often do the trick. He says, And the dogfish have moved in. No surprise there. Got a double shot on the three oak flapper rig. Greedy devils. Nicely hooked though, so uh, no problem there. Yep, the doggies have uh, taken over the junk now. Bit out there in force. Dee -dee -dee, dee -dee -dee. Got an absolute chunk of a dogfish. <laughs> Look at this one. He took a big mackerel bait on the 4 0 putty panel. That's a big old doggy. That could be my PB actually. <laughs> it's only a dogfish, but uh, hey, I'll take it. Oops, let's get you one hook sent. He's all curled up in a ball, gone to sleep. Last fish of the night. Here comes the rain. Happy days. We're about an hour into the ebb now. I'm gonna call it quits, guys. I've been here for hours. It's been a long old day, and uh, to be honest, I'm getting a bit tired. It's been a tough session, very tough. But, managed to beat the blank. Had a few bits and pieces on the flapper rig. Uh, a few doggies, a few pout in, a few small white in. Nothing spectacular, but it is what it is. As for the big baits, nothing, apart from that chunk of a dogfish right at the end. That was huge. Uh, but yeah, there's always next time. I've enjoyed it. I've had a bit of fresh air. I wet a couple of lines, job done. As always, thanks for watching. It's mega appreciated. Any questions or comments you have, pop them below and I'll get back to you. Until the next one, look after yourselves. Take care. All the best.